Hi guys, for those of you that have been asking me how to parallel 2C work inverter or more than 2C work inverter, you know, though the installation is still going ongoing, I decided to do this, this video to explain to you guys how to parallel two units of 6 kilowatt inverter in case you come across something like this or you want to carry out an installation like this. Now, there is a port here. There is parallel port here. You can see there are two. This is the ones you use. This very two now. Then here we have our uh, communication cable in order for you to connect this guy to this guy. Are we together? So this, we have another stop end here. This stop end looks more like uh, a USB stuff, but I think inside is a fuse. Are we together? So you slot this guy into this port and slot this other communication cable. You slot this cable. This cable can be used for parallel and it can also be used for uh, the communication between your inverter and your battery bank. So we are going to use this one for the communication of these two inverters in order for them to communicate as one and uh, you know give an output of 12 kilowatt uh, inverter. You slot this guy to this other end. You can see that. So this USB type can be here or it can be inside and this one can be here or it can be outside. It can just be anywhere and your inverter will still work fine. Then you also connect this one to this end. You can connect this one to this end. Then get the second uh, USB type. I don't know how to call this. Then you get the second one also and slot into this portion. You've now parallel these two inverter together. But don't forget the output and the input of this inverter. Sorry, the output and the output of this inverter have to be uh, connected together and looped together. If you observe here, I've looped the output of this guy with the output of this guy. And also loop the input. I've looped the input of this guy to the input of this guy. The neutral also have to be looped together. And don't forget, if you connect two inverters together in parallel, both of them have to get the same power source, either from the DC, which is your battery bank, or from the alternating current, which is your grid or generator. That is how to communicate two inverters. Don't forget, after paralleling this inverter, just you know, turn the inverter on for some set, just like switch on and off so that the screen will keep displaying that you can carry out your setting. In the setting, you select PAL, PAL here, you select another PAL here. That means your inverter are connected in parallel. So they'll give the same output and taking the same input. They'll be working together as one inverter. That is how to connect SeaWorld uh, inverter in parallel. So always make sure you connect your communication cable between the two and you also connect this USB type something. I don't know how to call it, but it's, it looks more like USB. Don't forget to loop the output and loop the input together. If you don't loop the output and the if you don't loop the output of this guy to the output of this guy, your inverter will not communicate. So it will be showing you error. And if you don't communicate the two uh, inputs, the input of this guy, sorry, if you don't loop the input of this guy to the input of this guy, your inverter will not communicate. So make sure you loop the input and the output together. I mean, not output of this to the input of this, or output of this to the output of this, input of this to the input of this. They will not be working as one. They take them from the same source. That is, uh, that is why we have our bus bar here so that both of them can take their DC source from this guy. So that's how you connect these two. When we are done with the installation, I will still do another video showing you which one is the master and which one is the slave or sorry, which one is the primary or which one is the secondary.